Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today on What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of who the hey was Edward Thompson? Now this question was asked by Mr. Mind's Engine Productions, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now usually with these specific types of videos, I like to give some beginning and kind of minor details about a person, and then later discuss what they're pretty much known for. Now, Edward Thompson, who was born on June 25th of 1881 in Marlborough, England, decided to pursue his educational studies in terms of college education at Marlborough College as well as Pembroke College to obtain a mechanical engineering third class degree. Now, after obtaining his mechanical engineering degree, Edward Thompson decided to use it in terms of being a superintendent as well as a works manager for a few different railways like the LNER, the NER, as well as the GNR. So before I go into more information about Edward Thompson's career, all you really have to know is that he was super smart and he had a really good background about mechanical engineering, but specifically stuff to do with locomotives. So after a while of being a general superintendent as well as a works manager for a plethora of railways, Edward Thompson used his time and kind of his general background to become the chief mechanical engineer in 1941. Which if you have no idea what that is, that's basically just like the biggest achievement anyone who like enjoys locomotives can have. Specifically in terms of the chief mechanical engineer prior to Edward Thompson, it was Sir Nigel Gresley who has a lot to do with Edward Thompson and I'll kind of discuss that. But like Sir Nigel Gresley had it and then it went to Edward Thompson because Edward Thompson had so much knowledge and worked a lot with railways and locomotives so he could use more of his mechanical engineering. Yay! And with obtaining the title of being a chief mechanical engineer, Edward Thompson decided to use his power to create various programs to alter and design locomotives. In relation to specific numbers, Edward Thompson, apparently through his programs, was able to create 13 new designs for locomotives, so he used his brain, knowledge, and power and put it to work. However, despite his like contributions to locomotive designs, there are some errors and problems that Edward Thompson ran into while being the chief mechanical engineer and just working for other people in general. It's more so not the fact that Edward Thompson had a problem with other people, it's that other people had a problem with Edward Thompson. Specifically referencing someone I brought up a few seconds ago, Sir Nigel Gresley was a dude who contributed a bunch of his own designs, and when Edward Thompson was in the position of chief mechanical engineer, he decided to criticize a whole bunch of those designs and alter them through his programs to make him seem like he was the better designer. Which in some cases, Edward Thompson's alterations to certain locomotives was good and helpful, but a lot of people in the locomotive like history community are like, that was not cool for him to do. Apparently Edward Thompson in general just did not seem to get along with many different people throughout his life. He did have a wife at one point and he liked her, but everyone else was like, he's not that cool of a dude, he's not that chill, we don't get good vibes with him. So depending on who you ask within the locomotive community, they may or may not have a good opinion of Edward Thompson, mainly because he was just so critical about other people's designs, especially if he didn't already like them. But eventually he did give up the title of Chief Mechanical Engineer in 1946, so his time with that title wasn't even necessarily that long, so people didn't have to listen to him for forever. And then of course later down the line you do have Edward Thompson's official date of death which was July 15th of 1954. I believe at that time he was the age of 73. And in terms of my general opinion about like doing research on him, it does kind of seem to stink because he did make these contributions and different designs of locomotives, but a lot of people have a bad and negative opinion of him because he was just such a negative person to other people. Which just goes to show that even if you are someone who makes really cool discoveries or really cool contributions, sometimes those might be outshined by your own personality. So it's like, oh, that's kind of spooky. But that's essentially the answer to the question. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to working on them as soon as I can. I do have a Wix website where you can see the schedule that I have for the rest of this year about questions and reactions. So feel free to check that out, but that's essentially it. So thank you very much for watching.
Bye.